Well, for those with underlying health conditions, the pandemic has been a scary and even uncertain time. From one couple battling stage four cancer together, it's making them look at life a little differently. KWWL's Lena Kwan is uh, joining us in the studio this morning to tell us how their condition has given them a, a bit of a new perspective on life, right? Yes, Daniel, facing stage four cancer during a pandemic seems terrifying to say the least. But for this couple in Denver, they say it has actually helped them build each other up. Like I said, totally out of the blue and over, it's like, oh, now what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, and it's like the things that I went through with chemo, I can kind of help him out now. Don and Bob Gwynn have been married for 15 years, a marriage that endured many ups and downs, including Don's breast cancer diagnosis in 2015. Sure enough, I was um, diagnosed as stage three. Strength and patience became crucial for Bob, especially last April when Don's cancer progressed to stage four. I lost my mom at 16 to breast cancer, so that kind of hit home really hard with me, so I just wanted to be there for her. But last December, they were given an unprecedented challenge, Bob's stomach cancer diagnosis. I thought it was chest issues. I mean, it started out as a guess from stage two to three to, to stage four by the time everything was all said and done. And it's like, I'm trying to deal with my stuff. How am I supposed to help him? With both of them undergoing treatment during the pandemic, the couple says fear was an easy option. It's hard to imagine, you know, him not being around. But a choice? I'm in the, the, the mindset of proving them wrong. They refuse to make. Going to be your exception to the one year, you know, prognosis. So although 2020 seemed full of negatives for the Gwyns, the couple says it gave them an opportunity to build each other up and make every day count. Leave each day like, you know, it's like there's no tomorrow. So. The Gwyns are both undergoing chemo at Unity Point Community Cancer Center in Waterloo. Since Bob's diagnosis, they have adopted their cat, Sasha, that you saw there, and say they can't wait for the day they can both attend a Blackhawks hockey game together again. Daniel, back to you. All right, thanks, Elena. The Gwyns say they hope their story promotes uh, staying safe during the pandemic for everyone. If you'd like to help the Gwyns on their journey, just head to our